All right, in today's venue uh, real-time workflow segment, I'm gonna take you inside uh, one of the Mac Minis that I have out here. This actually serves a very important role. Uh, as you guys remember in the, uh, in the equipment tour, uh, I made note that I had about six Mac Minis out here doing various jobs, etc. But I have one that does a really, really important job, and that is it's a, a, a dedicated VNC computer, okay? And uh, what it allows me to do is actually see inside multiple computers that are sitting out here, not just the Mac Minis, but also uh, the Mac Pros, uh, really any computer that is on the network out here. So. First thing that's important to understand is that we have a, a LAN built out here, meaning a local area network that all of the computers at the front of house are attached to, okay? So that's the first important piece of the uh, information. And we have them set to static IPs, okay? So we've, we've already pre-designated the, uh, the addresses for them. So uh, let me get the um, camera turned around here. I'll kind of show you the computers again and we'll talk about what's actually happening on screen here, okay? All right, I'll pull up the uh, screen here on the VNC computer. Uh, and he, as you can see here, we have already got a, a number of windows open. Uh, we've got the two Mac Pros uh, open. That's the Pro Tools systems on the left there. And then we have another Mac Mini that's uh, also recording Pro Tools, uh, just doing stems and two-track recording. Uh, we got a Mac Mini that's running the Flux Pure Analyzer. That's down in the lower left-hand corner. And then we've also tunneled into the S3L so we can actually kind of see the status of it. Uh, we do that primarily because we're doing uh, two-track recordings and we can actually see uh, the recall of the snapshots to put the naming in on the USB, etc. So, we, you know, all of this is visible at all times. You know, it gives us some, some confidence monitoring uh, on those Pro Tools machines given that we don't have dedicated screens for them. I can see uh, whether they're all running and in record, etc. We can kind of see status on them. And, and I can pull up uh, any uh, system here that I want to and uh, you know funny enough I for years I've been using uh, VNC dedicated software to do this not realizing that there's actually a VNC uh, kind of attachment in the Safari <laughs> in the Safari browser so if you just go to Safari for instance uh, you'll notice I've already got them bookmarked here for all the computers that we might want to attach to and, and keep in mind we have this set up as I mentioned on uh, on a LAN where everything has a dedicated address to it we don't we don't actually work on DHCP here on the LAN we give everything its own address so for instance if I connect to S6L and see if I can do this while I'm holding the camera here type in our password and you should see the actual S6L external screen pop up here in a second Voila! So now we're tunneled into that. You know, even if the, in the event we were to lose our external screen, etc., we can get in there and uh, see it on the VNC computer. So it's just like this. Uh, I use it as kind of this all-seeing, all-knowing uh, computer that allows us to see uh, into any of these systems, right? So I'm going to go ahead and close that back out. Now, the cool thing about it in the browser, the way you go about doing it is just simply typing in a VNC address. So if I type VNC semicolon backslash you can see some of the addresses auto populate so if you do that VNC uh, prefix and put in the address you'll be able to pull up uh, any computer that's on that address if it supports VNC and uh, screen sharing so uh, like I said you know we, we went into a Windows machine there on the SXL the S3L is a Windows machine, the others are Mac machines. It just gives us a great view of all of those computers. And you can actually get in there and operate from any of those windows, right? So let me uh, cancel out of this. So if I wanted to get in, you know, for instance, and have a look at this, I just zoom this out, and now I'm in working on that one, uh, that one computer in a little higher resolution. I can actually get to everything in it, and then just zoom it back down, and it goes right back into place, all right? All right, so that's uh, the VNC computer out here. Like I said, it's a very, very powerful uh, weapon for us out here to be able to have lots of computers going on. You know, not that I necessarily endorse that, <laughs> but we don't have them really in super mission criti critical uh, applications. Uh, but it does give us access to them very, very quickly without having to have, you know, tons of monitors out here. I mean, any more. I mean, there's enough light coming off of the monitors at the front of house position to light the entire room. So we're trying to keep it to a minimum out here just gain access to all those computers okay so that's the VNC computer at the front of house position here uh, in our S6L rig uh, we'll be back indoors tomorrow I'll try to dive back in on some more console stuff tomorrow and uh, get you going on that okay we'll get back into some actual workflow stuff but I did promise that we would go through some of these uh, pieces that are in the front of house racks 
and I will get through them all piece by piece to show you how we're doing them all but this is kind of the main one it's it's kind of the, the the Mac daddy of all oh no pun intended right Mac daddy of all the ones out here all right we'll see you guys later uh, we have just finished line checks and uh, sound checks for both bands here we are doors are open as you can probably hear the music going and we are gonna head for some dinner we will see you later bye bye